Reducing the incident of pressure injuries is important to me and our institution because it not only causes physical um, injury to the patient, but it also causes a lot of emotional suffering. When a patient develops a pressure injury, it increases mortality and morbidity, which often results into increased length of stay in the hospital or in the ICU environment. Uh, secondary, it's very tragic for the family for them to come in and see one of their loved ones to have a pressure injury because in a lot of ways it's a demonstration of the quality of care. So it, it, it's imperative that you know our institution looks at pressure injuries as a failure of optimized care of the patient and we, we attempt to, to, to do anything we possibly can to reduce the incidence of pressure injuries. The majority of patients that have developed pressure injuries have developed them on the bridge of the nose. That by far is the most common place. When a pressure injury occurs, it impacts our institution uh, in a multifaceted way. One, if it's a stage three or four pressure injury, we get penalized and I know Medicare and um, some of the federal agencies will not reimburse our institution for care of that patient. 